Hello, I'm Jerry Romine, the Entrepreneur Abroad, and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a complete Weeble tutorial, and by the end of this short video, you're going to know how to use Weeble like a professional. Webull is a powerful stock trading app that is so much more than just free trades. It's really a complete robust trading system. Today we are going to do a complete tutorial and walkthrough and we're going to show you these four things. One, how to set up your trade indicators. Two, how to research stocks. There's actually a lot of tools and information on Webull. Three, how to buy and sell stocks on Webull. I'm actually going to do live buying and selling in this video. And number four, some really cool hidden features on Webull that will really help you with your trading. I know that learning a new stock trading app can be really intimidating and my goal is to have you using Webull like a professional by the end of this video. Just hang in there with me. Everything is outlined in this video. And if you still have not installed Webull, then use the promo link in the video description below to get your two free stocks while they last and that's valued up to $1,400. All right, let's get right into it. Welcome to the Weeble home screen. You can get here anytime by clicking on the blue half moon at the bottom. Now this screen gives you a quick overview of your account and your positions and we're going to come back to this later. First, let's get your Weeble set up properly. In the lower left hand corner there's watch list and this is where most of the magic happens. I believe we learn by doing so let's set everything up and buy a stock. First thing we do is we click on the watch list. And here you can see I've already pre-populated a few of them. And at the bottom there's a button that says add symbol. We're going to click on that button. And then we're going to go ahead and put in an F which is for Ford Motor Company. And we click on the plus sign. And it has now been added. Hit the cancel button and it takes us back to our watch list. And now we can see we have Ford Motor Company. All right, now to get everything set up properly, we're going to click on the F for the Ford Motor Company and it pulls us over to our screen and we can see we've got a one day chart right now and this is how things are currently trading. Let's go ahead and drop that over to one year and we can see it's a line chart. I like to set up candlesticks and if you look on the top right, three places over from the blue one year, there just after max, there's a squiggly line. Click on that and we can click on the fourth one down and that will now give us candlesticks for how it's trading. Next we want to click on the three squares and the circle and that's going to allow us to set up our indicators. So we click on indicators and from here we can choose what we want. We've got a moving average which we definitely want. Then we're going to put on an RSI and then we're going to click on the MACD and with that we now have set up our basic indicators. We've got a candlestick and let's go back over to yearly which is what I prefer to look at most of the time. And we've got the candlestick chart. We can scroll left or right. We can zoom in. We can scroll down and we can see where the RSI is. And we've got the moving average convergence divergence indicator. Now the next thing we want to do is analyze stocks. And if you really want to learn the easy way to analyze stocks, then check out my video How to Analyze Stocks. My analysis style is what has blown up my channel. And to analyze stocks on Webull, now all we do is we scroll down. And when we scroll down, you can see time and sales data. And then do you see this menu that starts with quotes? When that locks into position, that gives us quotes, news, comments, analysis, press release, financials, profile, and we can go through all of those. So we can continue scrolling down, order flow distribution, large scale orders, and we've got some basic information on Ford. What I like to do is put the menu at the top and then swipe left and that's going to move it over to news or you can just touch on any of them that you want and that will move them as well. So now we've got the news on Ford which can be very useful. We're going to swipe left again and that gets us to comments. And this is where people put comments. I find this part kind of useless but if you need friends and want to talk to people, well this is a place and maybe it will happen. And then we go over to analysis. And the analysis button, that's going to help us out because it gives us an analyst rating, price targets, position cost distribution, more information on the analysis, and we even have a really cool support and resistance. And again, all of this is free and a lot of people don't even know how to access this. Now let's uh, swipe left one more time and we go over to press releases. This will give us any pertinent information that we need on the Ford Motor Company. Click on it. It'll take us right to the article. Swipe left one more time and we are now at the financials and this has a ton of information. We can look at the different indicators 
Ford, Ford Motor Company. Just with the click of a button, all of this is right here. You want an earnings forecast? Here it is. Income statement, net income, revenue, operating income, balance sheet, everything, cash flow, investing, financing. All of this is right at your fingertips. And anytime there is a right arrow, we'll go ahead and go up here to the income statement. You can click on that and now you can get even more detailed information for that company. There is a ton of information here. Peer comparison. I like this one. Click on that button and now you've got all of the different competitors. So much more information. And now we swipe one more time to the left and we have the profile for the Ford Motor Company. And now we'll just simply go ahead and go all the way back to the Ford and the quotes. All right, we're going to assume that we've done our research and we want to buy Ford. All we have to do is click on the trade button in the lower left hand corner. We come to this create order screen. Most often we are either going to do a limit or a market order. Given that Ford trades for only $5, let's just do a market order. We're going to buy and you can either use the slider which so shows 0% or the quantity. I'm just going to hit the plus button once and now I have one share. This is a day order. The estimated amount is $5.07 and now all I have to do is click on the buy button. It now asks me if I want to confirm that order. I click on the confirm button and now we order filled notice. Our order to buy one share has been filled. That is how easy it is to buy here on Webull. Now when we go back to our watch list, we can see that we've got Ford. Let's click on it now. And if we click on the positions button, it will show us our position in Ford. From the Ford screen at the bottom, we have an options button. So if you're an options trader, here's everything right here to trade the options. We've got comments if you want to write comments. And then if we click on the more button, there's quite a few things we can do here. We can do an alert and we can set it for a price above, price below, percentages, all standard alert stuff, all very easy to do from this screen. And from the more screen, one of the cool things we can do is we can do the replay. Now with the replay, when you click it, it will replay the activity for Ford and you can see how the day developed and you can also look at your signals, the RSI and the MACD and you can see how everything progressed throughout the day. That's cool. From the home screen, all we have to do is click on the markets button and that's going to give us a market overview. It'll tell us where the Dow Jones, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ are trading. We've got advance and declines distribution. We've got most active, top gainers, top losers and the little button just above one day. If you click on that, it will move it to the top of the charts. We've got net inflow, hot ETFs and one of the parts that I like is the best moving industries. So this is the top movers for the day right now. Coal is doing really well. It's up 7.15%. If we look at the last five days, one month or three months, and this can be a great way to find the hot moving sectors. Our next stop from the home screen, we want to click on the community button. And here we've got streams. I don't pay this any attention. Competition, if you're into that sort of thing, there's a few things you can do there. And then we go into the top news, which will give you the top news for the day for stocks. Scroll over one more time and you've got a watch list and this will give you the top news for everything you have in your watch list. Very handy and useful. From the home screen, we want to click on the menu in the lower right hand corner. And at the top, we've got a settings button. And one cool thing to show you here is we've got the night mode, which I prefer. But if you like a day mode, a light background, all you do is toggle it right here. Then we can go on down to the calendar button. And the calendar button has all kinds of useful information for anything that we're watching. Click on uh, today, tomorrow, this week, next week, anything you want, it will pull up the data. And then the last thing that's really important on the menu page is the Learning Center. And with the Learning Center, there's all kinds of additional information and this is where you want to spend some more time. And our last stop is we're going to finish up on the home screen. And all we have to do is click the blue half moon at the bottom and that will always get us to the home screen. And here we can do a quick trade, performance, deposit. All of these are pretty simple but we definitely want to click on the more button to show us a few more options. We've got a few things in the account here that's pretty self-explanatory. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you've got a paper trading option that you might be interested in if you're just starting out and you've got a screeners button. With the screeners, we can look at high dividend yield bank stocks. It's already built in. It pulls them up for us. 
click one button at the bottom, we'll add them to the watch list, or we can come back and create our own screener. And here we can build it out however we like, and this is another powerful tool that a lot of people aren't aware of in Webull. And to finish our tutorial from the home screen, let's click on Quick Trade. We can scroll down and we can find our Ford stock that we bought. Let's go ahead and sell it as a market order, one share, and we click on the sell button. And now we have a confirmation that it's sold and that's how easy it is to buy and sell on Webull. And that's how easy it is to use Webull. Hopefully now you're ready to jump right in. If you have any questions, please put them in the video below. And if you've still not signed up for Webull, the promo link is below and right now they're running a special where you can get two free stocks valued up to $1,400 when you deposit $100. And once you get those two free stocks, consider selling them just for the practice and you're already ahead and making a few bucks. If you enjoyed today's video, all I ask is for a like and subscribe to help keep this channel growing. And please check out my video, How to Analyze Stocks. This will really help you with understanding the stock market in just 30 minutes. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you tomorrow with a fresh new video. If you haven't already, make sure you sign up for Webull and claim your two free stocks worth up to $1,400. I use Webull. It's free with some great charts and tools. Your two free stock promo link is in the description.